<laughs> Lows. Here, Max, turn around. Okay, we're ready. Okay. Ready? Perfect. Okay. We're performing the Grinch, and Jacob and I are newscasters. Eli is the Grinch. Um, Max is Max the dog. Graham, Graham is the who. Graham is a who. And Josie is Cindy Lou who. <laughs> King Kong can give birth to a dinosaur. <laughs> In other news, a certain fellow called the Grinch attempted to actually steal Christmas last night. Imagine. And for more information, here's Marcella reporting live from Whoville, the scene of the crime. Marcella. Thanks, Jed Drake. I've been investigating here, and I found out what happened last night. I even brought the Grinch here. Grinch, why did you attempt to steal Christmas last night? Excuse me, but I believe I just told you that two minutes ago. Marcella, I just realized. We have footage from last night from that secret camera in the Grinch's cave. What? <laughs> All right, let me find it. Hidden cameras, hidden cameras. Ah, here it is. Roll tape. How to steal drugs. How to steal drugs. Three easy steps. I've been looking all over for this. I mean... <laughs> okay, let's try again. <laughs> Fortunately, I've previously seen this and know what happens, so I can narrate along the way. Ah, here it is. All right, roll tape. Now all the Who's in Whoville love Christmas, but the Grinch, who lived just south, north, south or north? Hey, Marcella, could you ask the Grinch if he lives south or north of Whoville? North? Okay, thanks. <laughs> anyway, the Grinch hated Christmas. No one knew why. Maybe his shoes were too tight. I always have a bad day when my shoes are too tight. Maybe his head wasn't screwed on just right. Or maybe his heart was just too small. Tomorrow's Christmas. It's practically here. I must find some way to stop Christmas from coming. Tomorrow all the who boys and who girls will wake up early and dash for their toys. And then all the noise, 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 noise. Then all the who's will sit down to their feast. And they'll feast. Feast, feast, feast. They'll feast on who pudding and who roast beast. Roast beast is a feast that I can't stand in the least. And then they'll do something I hate most of all. All oh, the who's, the tall and the small, will join hands. And with Christmas bells ringing, those who's will start singing. And they'll sing and they'll sing and they'll sing. I must stop Christmas from coming. <coughs> but how? Wow. And that's when the Grinch got an idea. It was an awful idea. It was a wonderful, awful idea. What is it? Keep watching to find out. He cut out some material and made an outfit. What a great Grinchy trick. With this hat and this coat, I look just like St. Nick. <sighs> now I need a reindeer. But I'm looking around and there's Nothing, none to be found. So if I can't find a reindeer, I'll make one instead. Max? Max. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that Grinch put a big horn on Max's head. Then he took some bags and a sleigh and tied Max to it all. Then, well, I don't know, the tape ends there. Thanks, Jedrick. That was a great story. Fortunately, we have another tape. One stashed in the Who's Christmas tree. What? Uh, here's our tape. The Grinch arrived in Whoville when everyone was asleep. He came to the house and said, This is stop number one. And then he climbed up onto the roof of some bags. He slid down the chimney and got stuck a couple times. He entered the house and looked in above the fireplace and saw the Who's stockings. These stockings are the first things to go. Then he stole everything out of the room. Everything! Then he, very nimbly, one by one, up to the chimney. Chimbley? What the heck? Hey, hey, I'm just trying to make a rhyme here. Yeah. Anyway, um, he took the feast. He took the whole hoop pudding and the last can of hoop hash. 
wine, he even took the roast beef. He all stepped up the teeth of it all the chimney would flee. <laughs> and now, I will stuff up the tree. He pushed the tree up the chimney, but before he let go, he heard a small pitch sound behind it. He sat around and saw a little who, named Sammy Lou Who. She <laughs> stared at the Grinch and said, Daddy, why are you taking our Christmas tree? Why? <laughs> <laughs> the Grinch was a sly one, and he thought of a lie to fool Cindy Lou Who. Why, my sweet little tot, there's a light on this tree that won't light on one side. So I'm taking it back to my workshop, you see. My dear, I'll fix it up there, then I'll bring it back here. She was fooled by that pitiful old lie. I can't believe she didn't see that there was nothing left in the house whatsoever. Well, whatever. The Grinch gave her a drink and sent her to bed. Then he stuck the tree up the chimney. He <laughs> even took the log from the fire. That greedy old Grinch. Uh, oh, yeah, he's standing right next to me. Um, sorry. The only thing I was left in the house was a speck of food. I was too small even for a mouse. On their walls, he left some hooks and wire. Then he did the exact same thing to all the other whose houses. Then, he and Max started up the hill with their sleigh full of packages, bags, and tags. They came to a ridge with a steep drop. They would dump it all. Who, who to the who's? They're finding out now that no Christmas is coming. They're just waking up. I know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open in a minute or two. And those who's down in Whoville, they will all cry, boo-hoo! That is a noise I simply must hear. He waited. He began to hear a noise. It came louder and louder. But the sound wasn't sad or mad, but, well, glad. Welcome Christmas, bring your light. He looked down at Kluvel and saw everyone singing with no presents at all. It turned out the Grinch didn't stop Christmas from coming. It came. The Grinch stood there in shock. How could it be so? It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. He puzzled for an hour until his puzzle was sore. <laughs> then the Grinch thought of something. Maybe Christmas doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, is just a little bit more. Suddenly the Grinch's heart grew an immense mount. He bought back all the toys and the food for the beast. beast. And he himself, the Grinch, carved the roast beast. Thank you, Marcella. We've run out of time for today due to Marcella's epic, epic speech. And I never got to talk about the diseased leech. Oh, well. Good night and happy holidays. Drive safely.